Welcome to module two of the course where we are trying to write a research in business administration or marketing. In module one, we have tried to write uh, a little bit of introduction of our research and we have tried to be clear about our research aim. Now in module two, we are going to talk about next huge part of our research, which is called a literature review. Now, this part, there is nothing hard about writing a literature review uh, from sort of, uh, it is not a creative task, but you really need to put a lot of hours into writing a literature review. So before going into that, let's be clear about what we should have so far. So far, we should be very clear about what our field of research is going to be. Then we should be quite clear about our research idea. What are we trying to research within this field? We also should have a quite a, a, let's say, still a vague idea about our research aim. So we maybe should have several alternatives of our research aim. Then we should have at least a few paragraphs in our introduction, which are written. And also we should have by now read several articles about our research idea. So that's what we should have by now. So now we are moving to the literature review. Literature review is about reviewing the work of others who have done something in this field you are researching. So in the literature review, you will look at the work of other people and you will relate it to your own research. So let's say you are writing about uh, let's keep this example about ski resorts in Scandinavia and how they use social media. What you will do is quite simply trying to find articles about ski resorts that are considering Scandinavia, or maybe you can try to find articles that are writing generally about ski resorts in Sweden. Then you will try to find uh, some work about social media. Now, we will talk about the concrete techniques of how to do this in upcoming videos. Now, when you have these articles, you will read through them, you will skim through them, and you will get some uh, information from there, which, which can be valuable for your research. And now you gather all of these ideas uh, into your paper, you will formulate it nicely so that uh, uh, all of the work of other people is sort of written in your literature review. Of course, in literature review, uh, uh, referencing is very important. You have to uh, sort of acknowledge that these other people have done something and you are simply using their information. So referencing is very important here. And when you have that done, what a literature review will do for your research is that it will give it a super solid basis. It will sort of all of the information will be there and now that will allow you to go outside and make your own data collection. So before you are able to collect some data, you need to have the literature review done. And again, even here I have some advice for you. First of all, uh, there is something still a bit creative in writing a literature review and that is structuring it. I mean, uh, I have structured the module, this, the videos within this module in a way that I'm teaching you more of a techniques of how to write because there is not that much of a creative work. But one uh, part of this process is still being a creative and that is the structuring. So when you will be collecting all of these articles, so let's say from all over the internet about your field, about your topic, you need to structure them. So uh, this is what we will focus at. Let's say you find articles about ski resorts in general, then you find articles about social media. And then let's say within social media, you will find some articles, a lot of articles that are referring uh, to using uh, pictures on social media. So you will make a subtopic in here. And then another subtopic can be, let's say, interacting with customers through social media. So you see, uh, uh, even when you are searching through the articles, you start to see these subtopics and you need to translate these subtopics into your literature review. So structuring it will be a very important task. Second advice, uh, literature review, there is sometimes a confusion uh, when, when, you know, calling or, or, or let's say naming this part of your research, it may not be called a literature review. It can be called something else. It can be called background of your work. Sometimes I have even seen researches where introduction and literature review are 
one thing together and it's uh, just a little bit messy but sometimes it can be called a theoretical framework theoretical framework is a little bit different from writing a literature review when you are writing a literature review as i said you are collecting the work of others that is relevant for you while when you are writing a theoretical framework you are sort of uh, drawing a frame around your research and this frame is constructed out of models out of some solid and concrete concepts that have been written by others and by drawing this frame you will say okay i'm operating with my research uh, with this concept that concept this model and that model and i will use these theoretical models this theoretical framework to approach my data to approach what I'm researching, that phenomena. So theoretical framework is a little bit different from literature review. It can also happen that your supervisor requires from you to have both of these things. So let's say you will have a two pages long theoretical framework and then you still have the literature review where you are uh, uh, sort of collecting the work of others that has been written. All right, so that is the idea behind the literature review. And in the next videos, as I already mentioned to you, we are going to go through some concrete techniques of how to properly write a solid literature review.